Welcome to IQCAN channel. Today we are going to talk about types of data, the scales of measurement. Data is a valuable asset so much that's the world's most valuable resource that makes understanding the different types of data and role of data scientists more important than ever. Data at the highest level qualitative and quantitative. What is quantitative numerical data? Quantitative or numerical data can be broken down into two types, discrete and continuous. Discrete data. Discrete data is a whole number that can't be divided or broken into individual parts, fraction or decimals. Examples of discrete data include the number of pets someone has, one has two dogs but not two and half dogs. The number of wins someone favorite teams get is also a form of disaggregate data because a team can't have a half win. It's either a win, a loss or a draw. Then continuous data. Continuous data describes value that can be broke down into different parts, units, fraction and decimals. Continuous data points such as height and weight can be measured. Time can also be broken down by half a second or half an hour. Temperature is another example of continuous data. Discrete and versus continuous. There is an easy way to remember the differences between the two types of quantitative data is consider discrete if it can be count and it continues if it can be measured. Someone can count strain tickets, purchase and books while one measure height, distance and temperature. What is qualitative categorical data? Qualitative data describes the qualities of data points and is non-numerical. It is used to define the information and can also be further broken down into subcategories, though the four scales of measurement. Types of data. Quantitative. Data that can be measured with numbers such as duration or speed, discrete, or numbers that can be broke down such as number of item, continuous, numbers that can be broken down such as height or weight, interval, numbers with known differences between variable such as time, ratio, numbers that have measurable intervals with difference can be determined such as height and weight. Qualitative data, non-numerical data that is categorical, such as S or no response or eye color. Nominal, nominal data used for naming variables such as hair color. Ordinal data, ordinal data used to describe the order of values such as 1 is goes to happy, 2 is goes to natural and 3 is goes to unhappy. Properties and scales of measurement. The scales of measurement is how variables are defined and categorized. Psychologist Stanley Stevens developed the four common scales of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Each scale of measurement has properties that determine how to properly analyze the data. The properties evaluated are identified magnitude, equal intervals, and a minimum value of zero. Properties of measurement, identity. Identity refer to each value having a unique meaning. Magnitude. Magnitude means that the values have an ordered relationship to one another. So there is a specific order to the variables. Equal intervals. Equal intervals mean that data points along the scale are equal. So the differences between data points one and Two will be the same as the differences between data points 5 and 6. A minimum value of 0. A minimum value of 0 means the scale has a true 0 point. Degrees, for example, can fail below 0 and still have meaning, but if you wait, nothing. You doesn't exist. The four scale of measurement. By understanding the scale of the measurements of your data, data scientists can be determined the kind of statical test or perfume. Nominal scale of measurement. The nominal scale of measurement defines the identity property of data. 
This scale has certain characteristics but doesn't have any form of numerical meaning. The data can be placed into categories but can't be multiplied, divided, added or subtract from one to another. It is also not possible to measure the differences between data points. Examples of nominal data include eye color and country of birth. Nominal data can be broken down again into three categories. Nominal with order. Some nominal data can be subcategorized in order such as cold, warm, hot and very hot. Nominal without order. Nominal data can also be subcategorized as a nominal without order such as male and female. And Dictomos. Dictomos data is defined by having only two categories or labels such as S or No. Ordinal scale and measurement. The ordinal scale defined that the placed in a specific order which value is ranked there is no information that specify what differentiates the categories from each other. These values can't be added to or subtract from. An example of this kind of data would include satisfaction data points in the survey where one happy, two neutral and three unhappy. Where someone finished in a race also described ordinal data. While first place, second place and the third place shows that the order of the runner finished in. It doesn't specify how far the first place finisher was in front of the second place finisher. Interval scale of measurement. The interval scales contain properties of nominal and other data, but the difference between data points can be quantified. This type of data shows both the order of the variables and the abstract differences between the variables. They can be added to or subtract from each other, but not multiplied or divided. For example, 40 degrees is not 20 degrees multiplied by 2. This scale is also categorized by the fact that the number 0 is an existing variable in the ordinal scale. Zero means that the data doesn't exist in the interval scale 0 has meaning. For example, if you measure degrees, 0 has a temperature. Data points on the interval scale have the same differences between them. The differences on the scale between 10 and 20 degrees is the same between 20 and 30 degrees. This scale is used to quantify and differentiate between variables, where the other two scales are used to describe qualitative values only. Other examples of interval scales include the year a car was made or the month of the year. Ratio scales measurement. Ratio scales of measurement include properties from all four scales of measurement. The data is nominal and defined by an identity can be classified in order, contains intervals and can be broke down into exact value, weight, height and distance are all examples of ratio variables. Data in the ratio scale can be added subtract, divided, and multiplied. Ratio scales also differ from interval scales in that the scale has a true zero. The number zero means that the data has no value point. An example of this is height and weight. As someone cannot be zero sentiments, centimeter tall or weight zero kilos or be negative centimeters or negative kilos. The examples of the use of the scale are calculating shares of scale. Of all types of data on the scales of measurement, data scientists can do the most with ratio data points. So uh, this is all for the today. We'll come back with another topic next time. Thank you very much for watching.